Alright team, this is a summary of using the LifePack 15 monitor for your resuscitation. So we'll turn on the monitor and we'll attach our pads. Once we've got our pads in place, we can push Analyze. Analyzing so we're going to pause our chest compressor. Clear. We're going to have a look at what rhythm we're seeing. Here we've got a ventricular fibrillation. Start CPR. And once the monitor is analyzed, we can go back into doing our chest compression. Now we've got this short timer coming up. This is the monitor charging and getting ready to defibrillate. So I'm just keeping my focus on the monitor until we've actually done our defibrillation. So I'd short. pause my compressor, I'd deliver the shock, start them again. Now quirks of this monitor, Start CPR. we've got this CPR metronome that started uh, automatically so one of the first things I'm going to do is switch that off by pressing the CPR button and I'm going to replace it with my own metronome. Uh, we've got our CPR timer up on the screen that we're going to use to keep track of our CPR cycles and at the end of this cycle the monitor is going to prompt us to push that analyze button again. So there's a manual input required, which is a little bit different from the from the Zoll. For the entitled CO2, the probe lives on the left side of the monitor, and it needs to be screwed into the CO2 port to activate the sensor and activate the probe. And we need to do that before we attach it to our LMA and our uh, airway circuit. So that's the life pack.